everyone, so I'm here to do a video on obviously the title, How to Look Like a Model. And I don't know about you guys, but I always have a little internal dream of being kind of discovered or, yeah, being discovered, kind of like Kate Moss in an airplane, something like that. I would love for that to happen to me and my life to be changed, so I always dream of that, so I try to put myself together to look like one. And that's a little secret, I do strive to look like a model pretty much all the time you know, having good personal style and all that. And I'll go into tips and stuff on how to look like a model. Um, so yeah. Now I am thinking about doing a little series for every Sunday is going to be a fashion how-to video because I was going to do a tutorial today, but I feel like you guys come to me for more fashion advice than beauty. So I'm going to do a segment on my own kind of a fashion how-to. So this is the first fashion how-to, how to look like a model. So tip number one is to have manicured nails, and this is extremely important. You also want to have manicured toes too, but you know, most people look at your hands more than your feet, I would hope. But yeah, manicured nails, you want to have nice pretty nails. They don't have to be, you know, a certain color or anything. You just want to have them painted or just really groomed. You don't necessarily have to have them painted. Maybe you just buffed a little bit would be fine, but you definitely want to keep them short. Models do not have fake nails. They don't have long nails. They have short nails, pretty nails. And I s took so long to film this video because I never had manicured nails, so I thought it would be like a hypocrite stating that I always like to look like a model, but I don't have manicured nails all the time because I always pick at them because I get really stressed out. And since I can't bite them anymore, I pick at my polish, so I'm really bad at that. Um, if you're curious, all my nails right now is um, Ballet Slippers by Essie. Love this color. A lighter shade, my nails are really short right now if you can't tell, a lighter shade or a silver will always make your nails look longer. So if you go paler than your skin, they'll look longer or like a silver, they'll look longer. So if you're looking to make your nails look a little bit longer like I am, because mine are extremely short right now, look how short this baby nail is. It's gross. Anyway, because I was bad and I bit them. But having manicured nails is really important because all models do. Um, that's just standard. They have to have manicured hands, pretty hands, clean hands, have nice hands. That's really important. The next tip, sorry I'm looking at my phone because I have all the little lists of everything in my phone. The next tip is to have personal style. And this is important just because most models dress nice and they dress fashiony. This can just mean a white t-shirt and a pair of nice jeans and whatever shoes on the bottom, just not Uggs or platform flip-flops. So this can be, be, be something really simple. It doesn't have to be extreme fashion. Most models dress really simple like they're going to a go-see and a go-see is where you go and meet the client, designer, something like that. So when they go on a go-see they're just very casual and simple because they want to be a blank canvas. So dressing like that would really help you look like a model. I don't do that all the time, but I do kind of keep my outfits casual. If you can't tell the past outfit of the days, I have a personal style. And that's kind of something that you need if you're going to want to look like a model. So just like rocker t-shirts with jeans I think looks really good. Jeans in general is very nice if you have good fitting jeans. Very good as far as looking like a model. All models have really nice fitting jeans. You can also type in your favorite models, you know, in Google and look at them and look what their personal style is and look what they're wearing. And you can kind of dress like that because one of my favorites is Lily Do Donaldson. So I butcher her name, Lily Donaldson. <laughs> She's one of my favorites. And her personal style is fabulous. I love dressing like her. She's amazing. So yeah, she's definitely one of my favorites that I look up on Google all the time. Okay, so the next one is to have good posture. Now, I'm a kind of a hypocrite of this. I have horrible posture. Like, I slump or slunt, whatever that word is. I hunch all day long. That's all I do. Um, you know, this is good posture, but I don't like sitting like this. It's uncomfortable. So my back starts to hurt after a while. But having good posture is really important because models, especially runway models, have good postures because they have to have good walks. So it's just important to have good posture. Now, the next tip is to put in an effort on your hair or no effort. And what I mean by that is if your hair looks fabulous without any effort whatsoever, then don't do anything to it because most models are natural looking, obviously, because they have a natural beauty. That's why they're models. And 
but if you have hair like mine where you need to put an effort in for it to look decent, um, I try products. Um, one that I really like right now is Argan Oil or Moroccan Oil. It's an off-brand one by one and only. I showed it in my haul with Sam when we went to Sally's Beauty Supply. So I love that right now because when I get out of the shower and I put that in my hair and let my hair air dry, it looks so nice and pretty. My bangs will always be weird because they're just like that and they like to be annoying. So I will always have to fix my bangs up in the morning and apply heat to them, which I hate, but I have bangs, so I gotta do it. But if I had just a standard um, center part with just the swoopy hair, I really want to grow my hair out long like that and dye it blonde, but I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that. I don't know if I'll look good blonde. I mean, I was a blonde. This is technically blonde, but now it's turning light brown, so it's really dumb. This is my natural hair color. So I may dye it to blonde, but anyway, I'm sidetracking. But, um, Having good hair is important. You want to look natural, so you don't want to look too done up with your hair. You don't want to put in too much effort to completely transform it because it is your hair. And as a model, they book you for what you look like. So, you know, if you show up on the day of and they booked you the day before and you look completely different, that's going to be a problem. So you want to look natural, but... You want to put some heat or some product on your hair if you need it because definitely you want to have nice looking hair. And let's see, the next tip is minimal makeup. And I'm also a hypocrite for this because I love the dark makeup. But some models do wear dark makeup on a regular basis. And I think they look the best with dark makeup and really perfect skin. I don't have perfect skin, but I can fake it a little bit. But minimal makeup is what they wear on a go-see so they'll put a little bit of mascara probably no eyeshadow or eyeliner maybe a little bit of blush just to put some color on their face lip balm lip gloss that's pretty much all they do because they want to look completely natural because they are a blank canvas like i said before so they want to look natural so that's why they only wear that much makeup because they don't want to look like a completely different person when they go to their go-see because they're not going to book them if they don't look like what they look like in their book which is their book of pictures of their past work and all that. Um, so, yeah, minimal makeup is really good just to look natural because you want to look like a natural beauty. If you do need a little bit of makeup like I do, if you have seen my everyday makeup routine, you know that I need a little bit of help. So I do, I mean, I wear makeup almost every day, not on the weekends though. Like yesterday, I didn't wear any makeup at all. I let my skin breathe a little bit. Um, and I'm completely fine, but I don't really go out without makeup on. I know that's bad, but if I'm just going to 7-Eleven or Walmart or something like that, I probably won't put on makeup just for that. Um, but obviously, if I'm going to school or work, I will wear makeup. I, I don't really do the minimal makeup that much, though, so I prefer myself with darker makeup. And it's really based on your own personal opinion as well. If you prefer yourself with a little bit of eyeliner, then go ahead and do that. Just don't go overboard. They get too black and too harsh because, you know, that's not model-like. So the last tip has to do with confidence. And models are completely confident. Even if they're not, they fake it. And I think everyone has the ability to fake being confident. So you want to walk tall, think tall, and you'll be tall. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's true. If you think like you're tall... Or taller you'll look a little bit taller so you want to think that and you want to be confident in yourself you want to think you know man I'm really good look like a model you know you want to think that in your head because then other people will start to believe that as well sounds a little lame to be walking around like damn I look like a model today no you don't want to be like thinking that much but just kind of act confident be yourself definitely you don't want to change your personality you know, to pretend to be like a model. You definitely want to still be yourself, but still be a more confident version of yourself because I don't think a lot of people have that confidence that models have. Obviously, they've been told their whole lives that they're beautiful, so not everyone has. You know, I was not <laughs> told my whole life, but, um, yeah. So I just want to pretend to be confident, and I think everyone has the ability to do that, like I said. So you want to pretend to do that. If you can't, if you just can't be confident, find things that you like about yourself and then look in the mirror and tell yourself that you like those things because that'll really make a difference. Sounds really lame again, I know, but you got to try it because it'll really build up your confidence because you're telling yourself you're beautiful. You want to believe that when you walk into a room. You don't want to be thinking that you're the ugly one there or that you're, you know, one of those people. You want to pretend like you look like a model and people will start to believe it. 
hope this was helpful. I don't know if all of you want to even look like models. Sadly, I'm too short to model. Um, I'm 5'7", and I'm a little bit too short. So normally models are 5'9", female models that is, are 5'9", and I missed the shorty cycle of America's Next Top Model because I was going to do that until I found out the last day that that was when you could submit their videos. So I couldn't do that. But maybe if they have another short cycle, I promised everyone that I know that I'd go on it. So I would love to go on that short version of America's Next Top Model because you have to be 5'7 and under, so that's perfect for me. So, yeah, leave any tips below that you think I left out. Just comment below. Um, let me know if you like these fashion how-to videos, if you want me to keep doing them. I have a couple more ideas for the next few weeks, but I'm going to rely on you guys heavily to give me requests and what you want to see because I'm going to eventually run out of ideas. I only have enough for three weeks right now, so I'm thinking every Sunday. It'll be good. Let me know if that works for you guys, if you guys want me to keep doing these, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.